when you, uh, you know, you talk at length about how John Singleton was, you know, going after you, chasing you, chasing you, so hot as a singer, you, you're running from acting, and finally you land the role of Jody and Baby Boy. Um, what most people don't realize, and I, I think I forgot, is that that role was originally for Pac, Tupac. Mm -hmm. Did you feel any burden or extra responsibility when accepting that that particular role? I did, which is the reason why I didn't want to do the role. Yeah. Uh, listen, man, casting is casting. Um, when God puts your name on something, it's yours. Mm -hmm. but there's something really uncomfortable about the idea that Jody was supposed to be Tupac and John Singleton literally wrote the whole movie and role for him. And now he's no longer with us. He got killed. We're still, I'm born and raised on the West Coast. Mm -hmm. Tupac is up there with Snoop. He's up there with Dre. He's up there with Easy e He's up there with all of the West Coast icons and legends. Although he was born on the East Coast, moved to Oakland. You know, he's every bit of California love, West Coast. Yeah. So imagine me. <laughs> <laughs> stepping into the role of 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 Tupac. It was not a matter of like, you know, the narcissist would be like, <laughs> look at me, you know what I mean? I'm not the, <laughs> yeah, that was for Pac, you know what I mean? That's all me now. <laughs> yeah, right. Bro, listen, man, if you got any kind of regard and respect for our icons and our legends, you know, I'm a West Coast nigga through and through, bro. You know what I mean? I'm born in Watts like, Compton, the, the, the West Coast hip hop movement level that it, it 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 moved on was in Compton and Long Beach. NWA straight out of Compton. That's Cube Ice, you know, that that that's 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 in my backyard, bro. Right. I was born yeah. in, I was born in Martin Luther King Hospital. When you leave the hospital, my nigga, if you make a right, you in Compton. If you make a left, you in Watts. Right, right, yeah. So everything about my childhood on some West Coast shit, like we didn't look up to no superheroes in Marvel comic movies. Our superhero was NWA. Yeah. Then it became yeah. Snoop. Then it became the whole Death Row movement. And we looking at life, lifestyle, the culture of groupies and women and bottles and six four impalas and and dickies and chuck taylors and crips and bloods and mac 10 bruh this yeah. is life right just like y'all yeah. had run dmc mm -hmm. for the east coast my adidas yeah. leather suits with hats the stripe i'm wearing adidas right now yeah truth be told run dmc stopped Adidas from filing for bankruptcy because sure of the did. facts. So, bruh, what are we talking about? You want me to step into the shoes of Tupac to play the role of Jody and Baby Boy and me get excited about the fact that it's an acting opportunity? Man, if you don't get the fuck out of here, call on <laughs> folks, talking about this movie role, bro. Like, who, who are you talking to? I mm. love you, John, but is there another movie role? Is there... Mm other opportunity is there something that you can write for me right right <laughs> <laughs> so it wasn't a matter of you know oh he got killed in vegas and you know look man this is a major opportunity for you and bro hold on let me show you something keep going, keep going. all right this is your man jigsaw all hip-hop <laughs> tyrese Whoa, Dre, John, Tyrese. Yeah. Bro, this is my life right now. Yeah. If you know what I know about the West Coast, you're looking that's, that's at the whole you looking at the West Coast. You're yeah, looking at the Mount, whole West Coast in one photo, bro. Yeah, man. That's Mount Rushmore right there, bro. Dr. Dre and John Singleton. Yeah. Boys in the hood. Minister Society. I'm sorry. Boys in the hood. Poetic justice. Come on, man. Yeah, what are we talking crazy. about? You think you're going to call me 
and I'm I got no respect for Pac and be like, oh, Jody was supposed to be Tupac because he was raised by a single money a mother, rest in peace, Queen Athene Shakur, who was my mm-hmm. firstborn godmother. Mm. You expect mm. me to step into? <laughs> you expect me to? Yeah. Bro, I went, I went to Charlotte. Um, me and my ex-wife, we were on the brink of divorcing. Mrs. Afeni Shakur invited us to Charlotte. No one has ever, no, I've never told this story. Okay. I went to a uh, part of Charlotte where she had a whole ranch. And I slept at her place. And I swear to God, we've all had nightmares. But I ain't never had nightmares on the level that I had while I slept at her house. Mm. And she said to me, everybody wants to be my son. Mm. Everybody wants to try and tap into his gangster and his alpha and being vocal and prolific and speaking up and speaking out about social injustice and the criminal uh, you know, moms, it's just me and mom. She ain't got no reason to feel what she feels. Mm-hmm. And she ain't got no reason to say this to me. Right. You're the only one that reminds me of my son. Wow. That's crazy. I sat back in my chair. And I said, the only other person who said this to me was John Singleton. We're not talking about rap career. We're not talking about what Tupac means to us all and thinking about Tyrese Tupac. We're not we're not talking about that. We're talking about Afeni Shakur uh-huh. and Pac's sister, who was also there. Such and, a- that's right. And we're talking uh-huh. about John Singleton. Uh-huh. That's I don't even know what to call that. I can't say it's a cosign. It's just. Then she said, come here. I walked outside. And she said, you see this right here? I said, yeah. She said, this is my son's grave site in my front yard. Uh I buried his ashes, Mm -hmm. some of his ashes right here. And she had stones and. She had an actual grave site of Tupac in her front yard. Uh. And as I was there and I had the nightmares that I had, literally, because Pac is the alpha that he is, he probably had a problem with the fact that another grown man was sleeping at his mama's house. Right. <laughs> I don't probably. think he had a problem with me. I just think like, bro, brother, I'm alive right. or, or, or still here. You know, yeah. what I mean? who is this man? Pac is protective of mom. Yeah, yeah. Energy does not die. Who is this man sleeping at my mama's house? I don't right. care if he like you or giving you compliments and saying you remind me of. I'm Pac, whether I'm alive or dead, and I'm going to protect my mama at all costs. Who is this man sleeping at my mama's house? Real talk, real and talk. And I swear, bro, we were there for probably seven, eight days. Horses was there, the ranch, beautiful, outdoor. So many conversations, so many heart to hearts. I remember playing him my rap music. Mm. I remember so many moments. I've never talked about this publicly, man, but when when Miss Afeni Shakur, mama, passed away, um, it hit me very differently than it may have hit everybody else because when I tell you she tried to get in front of me and my wife originally at the time divorcing, mm-hmm. when I tell you she said, that's my grandbaby. I'm that baby's grand, grand, grand uh, godmother. Mm-hmm. My daughter, Shayla, you know, godmother, mm-hmm. you can have 10 of them, right? But right. she said, Shayla, I'm that baby's godmother. Wow. My son, never had kids mm-hmm. you remind yeah. me of my son so your daughter is my goddaughter mm. wow so that's, that's crazy